Hi guys, Elite Legionario, how's it going? Uh, today I thought I would um, bring you a tutorial on how to install the BC series mods for Rome Total War. An excellent series, lots of cool stuff and it's not actually hard to install, just a bit different from other mods, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you want to do is you want to go to the internet obviously and you want to put in Total War Center. I've already got it up here, so just go like that. And you want to go to this one here the second one and it'll take you to the main page so you should get this and there's lots of really cool stuff on this site to do with any of the Total War games so if you not don't know about it have a look around but what you want to do for what I'm telling you to do is go to forums Total War Eras like so and hopefully it will load up eventually yep so what you want to do is you want to go down to this one, Rome Total War Hosted Modifications, it's third in the list. So go here. There's like general discussion forums and stuff too, which is quite cool to listen to or view various people's opinions and stuff. Um, so anyway, this will bring you to a page that's just loaded with different mods for um, people, you know, for you to use lots of them. This is these ones here are pre-Roman, so you get like Sparta and Troy. Um, Rise of Persia is good. Um, I want to get Megas, Alex, Megas Alexandros to work. It's for the Alexander expansion. It really beefs it up to make the whole Alexander campaign much better. But it never seems to work for me. Um, Rome. Then it's like in the Roman time frame. So you've got you know things like um, Diadochi Total War. It's a really good one. Um, Extended Greek mods really good. Europa Barborum is very popular. Um, never seems to work for me either. A few of them, just, a few of them, you might have some difficulty with, but I mean, generally most of them are pretty, not too bad. This one works good for me. Res Geste, it's really cool. Um, Romus Rectum is extremely popular, as you can tell by the number of things it's got. Um, but and then you go right down to like the post-Roman period with a attempt to do like medieval type stuff and all that sort of thing um, and then you got the fantasies one so you know like Lord of the Rings and all that and Warhammer, I mean I'm not really into that kind of stuff but if you guys are then that's for you and there's just other stuff and then there's ones in development rather so like Punic Total War which could be pretty cool so anyway we came for the BC series so it's the very second one in the pre-Roman list so you click that and this series has like several mods in it, several different ones, and you don't have to have them all at once. And you don't, it's re, you know, it's really cool that you can have the, even like four of them all, all available to you at any time. It's really easy. So, um, so you got like this way, 280 BC, the way of the approach. Uh, you got 275 BC, which is the one I'm going to use because I think it's the best one. It's my favourite. Um, then there's this one, Samnian Calling, or 310 Samnian Calling. This allows you to play as the Sam Knights and the Etruscans and um, various certain other factions. It's really, really cool. Adds a lot of cool units, but it keeps it really similar to the vanilla version of Rome. As do these other ones. Uh, 275 BC sort of alters it a wee bit from the vanilla, but I don't mind that. Some things in the vanilla annoy me. Um, then there's this 14... Uh, one, 1450 BC one. I don't think it's out yet, but it's... Um, Gets in, under under um, you know construction, and it's obviously probably stuff like Troy and that kind of period. And then there's like 336 BC. It's also on the way. Rise of Hellenism. It's going to have the Alexander um, campaign stuff in it, which would be really cool, and the Diadochi and all that. So it'd be really cool. So anyway, I'm going to select uh, 275 BC. So I'll do so. So you get this page, and make sure you keep this page up because you will need it for part of the un installation. So here's the instructions here. I found them pretty simplistic when I followed them, but some people get confused. Um, I'm not saying, I'm not being mean or anything when I say that, but um, I don't think it's confusing, but I mean some people are not computer like literate, and I actually not myself, but I found this one fairly easy and straightforward. But, I mean, some of you have just got no idea what you're doing when you're modding, and that's, you know, completely fine. I was once like that. I mean, I'm pretty, air, pretty you know, not really great at it, but anyway, I developed a few skills. So anyway, what you want to do is go to this, where it says download here. So, click that. And what you should get is this page here. So obviously, you just click over here where it says download. 
and do so. And it should bring you to a um, file front page, I think it is, or game, um, I think it was a game front or file front, I can't remember. Um, yeah, it's a game front rather than not file front. So you just click download now, and then that'll bring you to this. And the timer here will just go down to that until your thing's ready. And here it is here for me. So all you do is go save, save as, and so you and you just send it to where you want to send it. So somewhere you're familiar with is a good idea, and then you can just go from there. I already have the mod. I already have it downloaded. So um, I was just showing you how to get it and where to put it and all that kind of stuff. So that's fine. So I don't actually need um, to download it, but I still need to install it, so I uninstall it so I could reinstall it for you guys. So, what you want to do is you want to open up where you've sent it, I put mine in this place called Downloads, and it'll come in a compressed folder, so you want to right click it and extract, I've already done that though because I've got it up here, so just double click on that, and you just want, don't worry about the symbol with Pontus SPQR, just use this, okay, so what you want to do, whoops, what you want to do is, um, you go to your Rome Total War folder, and you open File Location, and you find this, which well, should automatically highlight, or it does on mine, this Rome Total War symbol here, and you just go Create Shortcut. And it'll ask you to put it on the desktop, which is what you want. So put it on the desktop, like so. And what you want to do after that is go out of that, and you want to copy this mod, this thing called Mod Folder. Let's copy it. Then right click on the shortcut and go open file location. Now it should look the same as the bit I was just in before. And all you want to do is just paste this in here, anywhere in here. Just put it in, like so. Just make sure you just, you know. Hmm, six minutes, that's quite long. I don't remember you taking this long. Um, but anyway, it's it's fairly straightforward. Um, once you've done this, it gets really easy. I'll just show you one last thing you've got to do after this, and that's pretty much it. Um, some people, like as I said, read those instructions. They get a little confused by it, um, which is understandable, because if you don't have the technical know-how, it can get a bit muddled. But um, by, this point, by the time I found this mod, I had been doing some modding for a while. Bloody hell, it says 16 minutes. I'm sure it won't take 16 minutes though, it's just saying it. Sometimes they say like friggin' ages and they just take like 2 or 3 minutes. They go like so far and they just do the rest really, really fast. So, um, if it does start to take ridiculous long, I'll just cut some out, but I'm sure it won't. It doesn't look like it's going to take that long at the, quick, at the rate at which it's, that bar's moving. Um, but this is this is a bit different to download and install than other ones. Well, not download to install rather than other ones, but it's, in my opinion, still really easy. Um, it's completely what's what's called mod folded, so it, it doesn't. It allow you to you can still play regular Rome Total War and this mod, and you can both do think both of them multiplayer if you want. So. I mean, when I install a mod, I never go for mods that would override regular Rome, because, I mean, regular Rome's really the only place you can get any online battles, and I need that for my channel. And, you know, if you don't have any online battles, your skills will get a bit rusty. Um, but, I don't remember this taking this long the first time I did it, but I'm sure it won't take this the actual 6 minutes 30 seconds though because it might go so far and then it'll just instantly download it all up I've, I've seen it done before but um it's a really great mod uh, it's it retextures a lot of units um, the battlefield maps are very intricate um, uh, what else does it do the campaign's quite interesting too it adds a lot of new territories and regions um, it scrubs uh, the skippy eye and the brutey eye but it allows you to maintain use of the Julii, and there's a Senate there as well. Um, I mean, it's kind of, well, one less Rome, two less Rome factions. It's interesting. It's great for the campaign because you can conquer Italy at the start, which is really cool. Um, but, I mean, the map go, it adds a bit of, like, uh, Norway and some of those northern areas that are not in the Rome Total War map, and it goes a wee bit further east, and... Um, 
what else does it do? It just adds quite a lot of new units. Um, this one here, I've got here, the 310 BC, Samian Calling one, I've got that as well. Um, that's really cool, it adds, it, it's a light, it adds like stuff like Armoured Hoplites to Mastodon, and they look really awesome in the Black Mastodon get up, and it adds lots of other new units as well. And it even adds to those factions that can get cataphracts, except for the Seleucids, it adds a dismounted unit so that cataphracts fight on foot, and that's really awesome because they can still pull out their armour piercing mace if you just press down Alt, as well as their spears, so they can handle both uh, cavalry really well and they can take on any heavy infantry, even urban cohort. So, um, that's really cool. So that's in the 310 Samian Calling one, um, which is it is a really cool mod. Um, it adds like the Sacred Band of Thebes to uh, the Greek cities as well. They still get their Spartans, of course. Um, but a lot of the stuff's very similar. Like like in terms of the way it looks, it looks very. The units look a lot like they do in the regular vanilla. But it adds it adds a lot new more units and stuff though, so don't you know, gives like the Scythians cataphracts and various other sorts of things, which historically they did have. Um, but this one I'm getting, it sort of it re kind of works the units and they look they look a lot better. They look uh, like they might do in some of the more advanced mods like uh, Romus Erectum, Europa Barborum and you know, some of them. So this one I'm doing I think it, it makes the most interesting sort of um you know, interesting sort of stuff. If you guys just want to skip in the video, go ahead. I mean, you probably don't want to listen to me waffling on about this. Um, but it's just a really cool mod. Um, there's a few new maps too, which is quite cool. Um, but a lot of the maps have been reworked, so you wouldn't recognise them. Even grassy flatlands and uh, the Syrian flats are different. They've got like uh, rocks and trees on the field. I mean, just in little bits, it's still really flat. But I don't necessarily like that so much, but... It's still pretty cool. It looks really, really good. Um, but, yeah, the only factions, in my opinion, that probably, at least in the Samian Calling one and some of the other ones, that don't get as many bonuses are like the Gauls and the Germans and the Britons and that sort of stuff. But um, it's still pretty good. I still got a couple of units, but it's like, it's... The Romans also in the Samian Calling might only get three new units. But um, in this one, they well, they, get, they got the same units, but they've been reworked. Like I said, they've been given new uh, new skins and new um, looks, and and it's really cool. In the uh, when you're playing as the Julii in the campaign, you can like recruit Triarii and stuff right away. And of course, Triarii have been re reworked. That one of the units have been reworked to be more appropriate as to how they were historically. I mean, Triarii with the elite. Um, Roman infantry of the pre Marian Republican period, so they are actually really good heavy infantry and can fight really well against um, other infantry as opposed to in regular and they're only useful as spearmen, which was kind of disappointing. I, I'm a Triarii fan. So, um, anyway, I'm surprised this took this long. I don't remember it doing this the first time I played, but anyway, um, here it is. Yeah, sorry, sorry about the wait, guys. I mean, if you want, when this starts, just you know, just skip it all. Um, but um, yeah, I, I didn't want to chop it out and eat it. I just uh, editing annoys me on my computer because it seems to reduce the quality and everything. So this is why I just let it go in one big blob. It's easier that way in terms of quality. So um, now that you've done that and got that into there, you don't need uh, either of these anymore, but you want to go back to this page that I told you to keep. Remember how I told you to keep this? Now, on the sixth line, you will see this little thing here. Oops, what's that? Performance alert. Don't worry about that. Um, this thing here. So you want to grab it all, including this wee dash. You want to just copy it, like so, and then just minimize that. Now what you want to do is you go to properties and the shortcut you created and you'll see this target line here. There's a line where it says target and it should be highlighted. Now you go to the very end of it and press click once so that it's just got that, just like that, the very end of the line. Then press space once, then paste what you uh, just copied. Then go click apply and OK. That's all you got to do. Then all you want to do is rename the file. So just call it uh, 275BC. 
and that's that and you shouldn't need this anymore so um, that's it guys that mod should go um, oh I suppose I can test it out go away um, I think I need to change the thing on here to um,